is real anger across the board about the government's riding roughshod over local communities and not allowing local people a voice when it comes to gas shale exploration side. Across the board, there, is, there are concerns about the environmental impacts, particularly the industrialisation of the countryside, water contamination and seismic activity. But most of all, and I wish the Minister would listen, there is concern that fracked fuel is a fossil fuel and the government should entirely change direction, invest in renewables instead. Let's change direction. Let's take some action on climate change. Ditch fracking. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, I'm extremely grateful to the Honourable Lady. The question is as on the order paper. As many as are of that opinion say aye. As the contrary, no. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Order. Colleagues, I have to inform the House of some corrections to yesterday's recorded votes. <laughs> In respect of Mr Nicholas Edward Coleridge Bowles's motion D, Common Market 2.0, the eyes were 189, not 188. In respect of Mr George Eustace's motion H, EFTA and EEA, the eyes were 64, not 65. In respect of Mr Kenneth Clark's motion J, for Jemima, uh, Customs Union, the eyes were 265, not 264, and the nose were 271, not 272. The published lists of how members voted will be amended. The decision on the question in each case is unchanged. Just before we... Yes, that's Five o'clock motion, Minister, to move formally. The question is as on the order paper. As most of that have been to say aye. Aye. Not very enthusiastic. Aye. aye. Uh, of the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Order. Just before we come to the sittings motion, which I shall invite the Leader of the House to move, I have a very short statement to make. 